Hi guys, it's the Frog Day 9 thingy for towards Dougie's anniversary death. Um, I'm feeling a little drowsy because um, I've been in hospital yes, last night. Um, I got rushed in straight to the emergency room. I had pains in my chest again. Um, as you can see, I've been on the drip thing. And that is going to bruise... Like anything, I was on like a drip thingy with needles and like a bag, they had the bag thing near me. I don't know what it was, but it was like clear stuff, water, um, so it could be like um, some sort of drug. Um, basically, it's just because I've been run down a lot and it's not because of the drink. People think, oh, it's a drink, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. If it was a drink, they would have said something. And so I'm not doing a party now for Andrew on Monday. Um, I'm going to have time out for myself, chill out, get myself right till next Saturday. Might go out for the day on Sat Monday, either to Middlesbrough or to Stockton somewhere. We'll, we'll go out for the day and um, just have a couple of hours to ourselves. Because, guys, I need it. I really need this day out. I might go to Richmond actually. I think I might go to Richmond for a change. Um, we were talking about Richmond the other week, so I'll probably go to, end up going to Richmond. But oh man, it was quite frightening, guys. I had um, I collapsed in the bathroom. I literally collapsed because um, I got off the toilet and it just went whoosh, right and collapsed down on the floor. And the paramedic had to get me up, and I felt weak with my legs, and that I am still not 100%. I am going to rest today, rest tomorrow. I'm supposed to be doing the shopping today, but I'm going to leave it till tomorrow, um, till I get myself right. Have a good night, Kip. As I say, after when you've been in hospital, that's all you want. And... I'm going to do Andrew's party next weekend, so, till I get my cooker fixed, and I know Gladys was going to help me out, but I don't prefer it doing it that way, so I'm not burdening on people, and oh, I just did not feel 100%, guys, I'm, and you know them things they put on you, them sticker things, I'm allergic to that, because I came out all in a rash, all on my leg, there. I came out in a rash, a complete red rash. So I think that's why they put me on the drip thing. And so I'm going to have a shower today and go to bed early because I'm going to have a couple of hours kip and get myself right because I'm going to need it, guys. I'm going to, I've got to start looking after myself, like people have said, and... I never do. I look after everybody else and don't think about myself. And I brought down in tears last night with my mum. My mum came in hospital after one o'clock and um, she... I stayed at my mum's house last night because I couldn't get in the house because of the keys, because I left my keys. And that's basically it, guys. Just an update on this, the experience situation I had and it's gonna take for a while I think to get myself right and I'm just really tired at the moment and really strained and run down because I cried in hospital broke down in tears cried at home and I had stomach pain as well, but I don't know if it could have been with my infection I had, and because I didn't didn't have did have the runs last week, so I don't know if it could be any connection with that. Um, they didn't really say much to what was wrong with me, and this is what I couldn't understand why you go in hospital and the doctors don't get, tell you much. And you've got to find out of you or the doctor when you go to your doctors to find out what they've been said. And it's stupid. They should really 
ex tell you and explain, but you've got to figure out things yourself. But I think it's to do with my infection I had over the weekend, last weekend, and this week. Because <coughs> I've still got a touch of cold, so it could have been anything really that made me ill. And you don't know, don't know these things till you know of your doctor, which is the truth. So, guys, I'm going to love yous and leave yous, and you'll see this video probably either tomorrow or Monday. And I'll probably be doing some vlogging videos when I'm in Richmond. So you'll get a chance to see where I used to go to school, where, where I used to walk around in Richmond, places like that. So it's going to be a nice walk around and that so i'll speak to you guys later be cool be happy stay tuned l's bells rock chick one two one love you guys bye